So we started in 2004. We were actually started by three artists and friends that were at a party. Um, and they were having a conversation around the fact that, you know, there was an upcoming election um, and none of their friends were going to vote. But their friends did care, right? They cared about issues, they cared about policies, but they weren't going to translate that passion into voting. And so they decided to start a campaign, basically an awareness raising campaign, um, to get out the youth vote and get out the message of the impact that you can have when you choose to cast a ballot. If a young person doesn't vote in the first two times that they're eligible to vote, the likelihood is that they're not going to vote later on in life. So what that means is when we lose first time voters, we're losing them for generations to come. Um, so that's really a major problem. We know now that a lot of young people don't feel like they have enough information about politics. There's basic levels of civic literacy um, that young people just haven't, you know, they don't have the knowledge, um, they don't have the answers for some of their questions. And that's really why Apathy is Boring exists. We exist to help build that bridge um, between citizens and government. We help, you know, provide information for young people um, and first time voters as to why, um, why you should vote, how the system works, how to cast a ballot, what are the policies, what are the procedures that you need to know. Um, so we're really there, you know, as an FAQ, as a, as a source for people to come and answer, ask questions, and we're there to answer them for them. The very best way to do this work, and all research points to this, um, research we've conducted as well as, you know, other academics, um, is that face-to-face -face interactions are the best way to do this work. So when you have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody, and you have a conversation around, you know, what matters to you, did you know there's an election, let's have a conversation around whether or not you should vote um, and why, that one-on-one -on -one conversation is shown to have a greater impact on whether or not that person is going to actually change their behavior um, and start voting you know, later on. And so we work to do that across the country. 